What's up y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to another video. Let's get right back to assembling the Evo motor. As you can see, we have a whole array of parts over there. All those gotta go onto here. So let's see how far we can get. Okay, so as I said, whole array of parts here. We got brand new pulleys, cam gears, more pulleys back there, Mivec oil line. We got all brand new rockers. Um, just a bunch of hardware and cam sensor stuff in there. Um, cams, lifters, got the Kigley, uh, bracketry, more pulleys, stuff like that. So um, first off, got to get this plastic off of here and then I'll put on the Kigley first, I believe. It's a simple little thing. And then I believe where we are in this reassembly process is to the point to where I can put on the lifters. So uh, we'll do that first. Got everything unwrapped. So let's do uh, first things first. We're going to go ahead and install the Kiggles. We'll get that on there. Um, everything goes down to eight foot pounds. This plate goes on first, then that. And all we gotta do is remove this little guy right here. So let's go ahead and pop that on there. So the instructions did say that there is no sealant or anything like that required. So we're just taking off this stock one here and lining up that little plate and putting on the top piece and uh, locking it down. Moving on, we're gonna go ahead and do the lifters now. Um, I do have the instructions here on like how to like bleed these or whatever you wanna call it, but to be honest, reading those instructions and based off of what I've seen, heard, and read online, um, it was a little bit contradictory to me. So I gave them a call and was like, hey, I'm getting ready to install these. I wanna make sure I'm doing it right. I uh, don't wanna damage anything, yada, yada. And the guy that I talked to said, don't overthink it, it's not a difficult process. He said, just make sure that you're uh, being careful in there. He said, most of the time, things that come back to them needs fixed or has been damaged. Uh, someone just got a little bit too excited when they were putting the Allen wrench or whatever you get into the end of it there and they damaged it that way. The guy from GSC also said that he's heard of many people just putting these in and not doing anything at all to them, but um, if you wanted to, a few drops of oil into the top of the lifter should be good. It didn't need to be like super stiff or super soft. Obviously you don't want to damage the valve and everything with it being like locked up and super stiff, but um, he said as long as there's a millimeter of play in the lifter, you should be good to go. So uh, we're going to follow along with what he said, what their instructions said and we'll get these things dropped in. We are about halfway through, well we are halfway through uh, bleeding these lifters and I mean so far it's not too bad. I, uh, I think I'm just nervous to like mess up one of these things because it does sound when I put the Allen wrench in there I think what gets me is like it sounds kind of like grindy and I'm not a big fan of that um, but we fill it with oil and we push the ball down, which I don't really know, like it feels sometimes I'm like to the side or whatever, but I realize it's like a very small shaft, so can't really mess up a bunch, but um, I just, I've never done it, so I'm just, you know, is this the correct way or not, you know? But we're filling it up till the, till the oil comes out of this little hole. Hang on, let me get a new one. Till the oil comes out of this little hole right there, if it focuses, and it probably won't. Anyway, there's a hole on the side the oil will come out of that, and that's when it's like full, and then I compress it with the Allen wrench that we have here, and um, some bubbles pop out and all that stuff like it's supposed to, and then we do it a couple more times, and it eventually gets stiff, and then I'm doing it one more time to kind of like bleed it, I guess, and then it has that play in it. So um, just kind of doing this, I mean, it takes 16, there's 16 of them, so, just time consuming, just going through. All right, now we got some oil coming out. Just kind of going through and trying to take my time as much as possible. But um, yeah, it is a little bit nerve wracking as I've never done it before. Last lifter has been filled, bled, whatever you want to say. Uh, let's take this thing over here. And we will slide this thing right down into there and we are done. We got all of the lifters installed and now we get to go through and put all of the rocker arms onto the lifters. Now we're going to go through and drop some assembly lube on the tops of each one of these rockers. That's where the cams kind of rotate so we'll get some assembly lube on those. I'm using the red line stuff, so let's go ahead and knock that out. Mm -hmm. 
everything looking nice and lubed. Let's go ahead and get the cams unpacked. We are running GSC S2s. I previously ran uh, Kelford 273s in the car. These are actually 274s, so I went ahead and went with the S2s. So um, let's go ahead and get them unpacked, and we'll get them laying into the head. Let's get it out of here. Holy shit, look at these. Whoo! I did not realize they were that shiny, new. Maybe this is a new coating, I don't know, but dang! All right, cool. This is the intake one, it says so right there. As soon as it focuses, there we go. Nope, there we go, intake. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get off the cam caps and we'll lay those out exactly how they came off of the block, or the uh, head and then we can lay the cam right in there. I'm getting excited now. Honestly, those lifters was the most like daunting thing about all this, so I, uh, <laughs> I'm excited to get those out of the way. Oh, come off of that, what is the deal? Um, <laughs> and now we can just move on with everything else. What in the F? Oh. Some of these cam caps were really stuck on there. Um, I'm not sure what that was all about, but I had to pry really hard on some of these to get them off. Okay, finally got that cap off of there. That thing was on there. Um, so now we can put some assembly lube into the journals here where the cams ride all down through here, and then we can lay the cam in there. And now we put the cam in there, dowel pin facing up, and we can just lay this guy right in just like that. <laughs> just like that, we got everything in there. We got some new assembly lube along the top of the cam there. And now let's do the same thing for the exhaust side and then we'll jump back when we're done with that. And huzzah, just like that. We got the exhaust cam in there. Everything is all lubed up and good to go. Um, I went ahead and threw the cam seal on here because uh, it's easier to have this cap off of there, I guess. So I went ahead and put that in there. Uh, but the MyVet gear right here, luckily I still have the old like cam and gear over there still assembled. And so I checked it out. The cam seal does not fit around this cam. If you can see it, it's like they're two different sizes for sure. And so the seal goes onto the back of the uh, MyVet cam gear and it kind of sandwiches it in between there. So that one doesn't go on there just yet. I might throw on that cam gear in a second and get it on there before I torque this down. Not 100% sure because I'd rather have this thing not torque down so I can get the seal in there easier maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a second. But for now, we got to go through and uh, take the cam caps back off and put some RTV on the corners of all of these on both ends, and uh, that should seal everything up nicely, and we can uh, begin to torque everything down. I think I kind of misspoke there and said all of the cam caps when referring to the RTV. It's just the two on each end of the head there, so uh, not all of the caps get the RTV, just the ones on the ends. All right, so this is a little tricky, but um, I used the MyVet cam gear. I put the seal on the back of that, and then I put it onto the cam, and that kind of set it in place. Um, and so it's it's where it's supposed to be. And when the cam gear like bolts down to it, it'll like mush it in there. So I'm gonna leave it right there. I don't feel comfortable like putting the cam gear on the cam without it being like torqued down. And then when we torque it, it's gonna have some like weight on it and stuff like that. And, I don't know what that will do, but I don't want to mess with that like that. So I'm going to go ahead and torque these down now, put the RTV on the uh, end caps, and then snug it down, and we'll put the cam gear on top of that. Okay, got all those locked down. Those went to um, 15 foot pounds. So we got all that locked down, everything's good to go there. We'll go to the back of the motor now and we can mount our cam position sensor housings onto here. Um, we got two brand new of those. We can get those popped on there and uh, keep moving on. Whenever you're getting ready to mount these onto the head, um, it does need some RTV around this little groove right here on both of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll pop them on. Okay, got those things locked down on there, and man, those look really, really good being brand new. Uh, what do you know? <laughs> now, I don't want to put in, uh, slash a little bit nervous to put in the actual cam position sensor thing that goes in there. Uh, this little guy right here, um, there's one, and then there's this one here. 
I don't want to put those in there yet because we are not really technically top dead center. I mean, I put these things to the sky, but they're supposed to be like this way and that way to be straight up and down. So I kind of want to wait to put all the timing stuff on there and the cam gears and all that stuff and get it lined up and being top dead center or like where it's supposed to be from what I understand uh, to install these because one of them goes a certain way. There's a small piece and a big piece that's supposed to go like this when that dowel up there is facing straight to the sky. So um, I think I'm going to wait on those to put those in, but we can move on to mounting up the water pump, I do believe. Okay, brand Splunkin new gasket, uh, pulley uh, bolts for the pulley, thermostat, or uh, water pump bolts, which I have titanium for that, I think. Maybe just the thermostat. We'll put that right there. Razor blade, there you are. All right, let's get this uh, open and we'll go ahead and throw on the brand new water pump. Alrighty, got the surface all cleaned up already. Let's go grab the water pump real quick. And then this thing goes right like this. And so that must go here. Now give me one sec here. All right, now we can mount this thing just like that. All right, got the other hardware here. And one little shorty goes there. This was my uh, my STM uh, water pump bolt kit. I didn't have titanium for this, uh, but I do have it for the thermostat, so that's a plus. Now let me run over here to my little my little diagrams and see what these puppies get torqued down to, and we'll be all set. So we'll do one. And a continuation of everything else that we're doing just move around to spread the force evenly probably don't necessarily have to but I want to so as you can see here based off of the chart we are torquing these down to 124 inch pounds or 14 Newton meters huzzah now, I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't like this thing sitting around, so I'm gonna go ahead and install a very expensive sensor um, into the head here. So the oil feeder control valve, I guess it is. This thing is wildly expensive. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's be, let's be a little bit gentle here. And we'll just slide that right in. The manual didn't say to like put any kind of like engine oil or nothing like that on it, so. I'm just gonna slide it in, and there we are. Now I've got I've got the old hardware, but I'm not gonna put that in there. I'm going to get a new piece for that, but at least it's in there and it's not sitting on the table. Okay, we got the line laid out here. We got the new cool little blue blue ends for it there. Um, small end goes here, big end goes there. Um, now I gotta find. I gotta go inside. I got a big bag of like uh, crush washers. This is the old one here, to uh, so I can get off the size of it. But gotta get two for this guy, and then I don't. I took apart the old one here, uh, this one here, and I didn't see any kind of like sealant or whatever that's supposed to go on the threads of this thing. So I'm not gonna put any on there. Um, if you guys think there should be or whatever. Feel free to drop a comment down below because I do not know and I'm not going to put anything on there right now. So, um, yeah, let's thread this thing up and we'll get it installed right about here. <laughs> that doesn't fit. Hold on. That doesn't fit in the slight. Oh, shoot. There's a piece that goes right here. I need the little silver piece that connects to the head that sticks out and this bolts into. Um, I don't have that here. Damn. All right. Well, this is going to have to be on hold. So let's take this away. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put this big nut or bolt through here, uh, the crankshaft, and I'm gonna rotate the motor over because the little slot is down here for timing and everything. Um, and I noticed whenever I got the block back from MAP that it didn't have this little crank key in it. So I gotta put that back in there and then this has to be up top anyway so we can get it to uh, time and everything. Um, and so I'm gonna uh, go clockwise, which I've seen in some manuals that you only go clockwise, and so we're gonna put a little uh, wrench onto this thing and uh, spin this thing around a little bit 
and get that little slot to the top. All right, here we go. All righty, there we are. So now we can get that thing back off of there. I hope. There we go. And now I put my little key in there and we can put the timing stuff on. And we just take this little guy and we slide her right in there. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put anything into that or something like that. Um, I'm gonna have to send some messages on that to make sure, because that just seems loosey-goosey. Um, but maybe that's just how it's supposed to go. So I have this nifty little spacer here because we don't have a balance shaft on ours. Um, you see how that just kind of, there we go. So that goes on there. So now we have this little trigger plate, which I have everything that I took off of here laying to the side over here. I've had it in the floor for who knows how long, but <laughs> this uh, little key thing, I think it goes to the top and then this little guy faces the right. It has the blue paint on it. So that's your, that's your timing mark anyways. So uh, slide that on and then let me go grab the new gear we have. Huzzah, brand new gear. This guy mounts on just a, like a this. Boom. Okay, now we have a new center bolt and washer. Hang on one sec. Now, uh, this guy appears to have some like red Loctite on it. So I don't know if I want to use this one just yet and put it into here. Um, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this snug down. Uh, just yet, but um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the old one in for right now And then when we go to finalize this and we're ready to tighten everything down Then I'll swap it out because that makes me a little bit nervous putting that in there right now <laughs> Oh, yeah, here we go. We're ready to mount this thing on there the big daddy bracket Boom right there. I have the little heat shield or little shield that goes behind it over there as well but that's gonna look nice being brand. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't order the hardware that mounts it on there. Oh uh, boy. Well, crap. So I got a wee bit excited and went ahead and put on the cam gears. I uh, didn't film any of that. I just was going through my stuff over there and started finding the pieces and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pop it on there real quick and then Popped it on and realized I didn't film it, but um, yeah, just a bolt, two bolts actually. Haven't tightened those down yet. I just wanted to get them on there and uh, see how it looked. And man, it is coming together. <laughs> well, I went ahead and covered up the cams and all that. Um, I don't want to put in the old bolts for this thing here. So I'm gonna have to go either find some or order some OEM ones, uh, get those on the way. We got to figure out this stuff with the oil line and all that stuff for back here on the MyVac. And so uh, we got the cams on, like I said, they're not locked down because I don't want to uh, tighten them down just yet. I wanted to get them on here and uh, hand tight and all that. But we made a ton of progress today, I feel like. We got quite a bit done. We cleared off quite a bit of parts off the table over there. It doesn't look like it, but we did. Um, and so, yeah. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. We got, I'm super happy with how far we got today. I am, uh, like I said, we got so much off the table there. It doesn't look like it, but we sure did. There's only a couple things over there that goes on this thing. And then we can get it timed, get the covers on it. And honestly, get it prepared to go back in the car, which is kind of just uh, kind of crazy because it feels like it's been forever and it has been. Um, but yeah, it is. Uh, it's coming together, and I'm getting really, really excited. So yeah, I am also excited about the new merch I put on the website. I will have that link down below. I always have it down there. I never really talk about it a whole lot, but there is some new stuff on there. So if you want to check that out, help out the channel, that'd be awesome. I would appreciate it very much. And uh, yeah, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the process, the progress. And if you have any questions, drop those down there as well. I'll be glad to help much as I can, chat, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.